Oh, that human. Could it be? My one true love. You look bored, darling. I want this to be a stellar performance, so if you won't give it your all, then I'll skip ahead for the audience's sake. Perform? Yeah, skip this. Kasai, the show must go on. Oomph, I am so overwhelmed with tragedies. The king has ordered you to waste away in the castle basement, and before we even had time to sing a sweet song about it, my dear heart, I can barely look upon you knowing what comes next. Well, toodles. I guess while we're back here, I kind of want to see if there's no response. I wanted to see if you could visit Alphys in the lab because we didn't really see her off on the happiest of notes. And it seems that there's nothing else we could do about it. Maybe whatever Undyne wants from us has something to do with that. We'll see. Excelsior! I'm having a little concert. Once again, back in Snowden. Now, before we get to the final area, I wanted to go and pick up some healing items. Uh, as far as I could think of off the top of my head, the best place you could go for healing items during the true pacifist run would be here at Snowden's shop. You just go ahead and buy a bunch of Cinnabons because they're fairly cheap and they heal you back to full HP. So it's very, very good. Gonna get all those. And we're gonna exit. Probably just gonna make room real quick for whatever it is Undyne wants us to pick up for her. And, oh wait, is there, the igloo is right over here. So, just take the igloo teleportation system. And speak to Undyne. Um, so, I have a favor to ask of you. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter. To Dr. Alphys, I thought so, huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well... It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll t tell you. Hotland stinks! I don't ha want to have to go over there. So there you go. We got the Undyne, the Undyne's letter. Usually I always just say the, even when it isn't necessary, but this time they put it in, and I could actually say it without being corrected about it later on. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you! Thanks so much. You're the best. Where's the save point? Because I gotta have- I need to read it beforehand. Undyne writes a lot of love of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she could go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you. Because you have no standards. Yo! Uh, is there a save point back over here? Not right over here, but right over here there is. So save the game real quick. Watch her delete my singing save file if I do this. Undyne's letter. Info. Undyne's letter. Unique letter written for Dr. Alphys. And if we read it... Oh my god, I'm gonna sneak and kill you! That's it. That was kind of lame. Snowden. Home of Papyrus. That's the Snowden, right? That's it. Okay. I was expecting something to happen, but... Maybe she does kill us at the end of the game? Oh, I don't know. No, we're friends now. That won't happen. I hope. Hopefully I didn't make just a grave mistake like stinking Paper Mario when you read the letter or the diary that you're not supposed to read and then just automatic game over. Because to get to the end of the stinking pacifist run only to have this happen, that would be very crummy. So let's go to Hotland because Undyne can't survive in there because she's a stinking fish. That Though she's in a stinking suit of armor, you think that would be even... Like, not even hotter than lava, but, like, it would still be stinging hot. And it would not be fun for her to exist in. But she does it anyway, because she's awesome like that. Now, like, all the characters have, like, very important meanings in the story. But, like, the only one that stands out as not being super important is Muffet. She just sort of, sort of shows up, and then she's done. I kind of wish the alpha segment was, like, cut in half, and then that amount of time was spent on the spider saga. That would be interesting. Door has no mail slot. 
Slide the letter under. Slide. No! Slide. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C -c can I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god! Oh no! That's adorable! And I had no idea you um, wrote that way! It's surprising, too, after all that gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven, much less, um, this? And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I could do to make it up to you. Wait, what? Yeah, let's go on a date. Oh my stinking Christ, I'm done with these dates! Dating start! Question mark. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Aw, how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of, um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating star. Okay, I guess this is Undyne's Revenge. Hey, wait! Actually, we still can't restart the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I gotta give you two items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome of the date, right? Anyway, d don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Uh, maybe you can't use that. But I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating start! Yeah, let's, uh, date! You know, I make fun of her, but in all honesty, this is probably how my first date is gonna go over. Uh... Do you... like... Animate? <sighs> Fits me to a T. Hey, me too! Hey, let's go somewhere! But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it! Let's go to the garbage dump! What? Is it because we're watching anime? No. Here we are! This is where Undyne and I come all the time. Is it Higurashi a reference? I don't know. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Heh, <laughs> she's really, uh... Oh no, that's her over there! I can't let her see me on a date with you! Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes! Hey, there you are! I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me! Uh, my god. Huh? You don't have it? Rah! Have you at least seen her? If I say no, I help Alphys out. But, like, I want to set the two of them up, because they like each other. So I'll say, yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god! Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people! I'm sorry, I just figured it out, you know? It'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make me you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool. But, but, Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do?
So, have they never met in person before? Because, like, she's into the whole online thing, so... And Undyne can't come to the Hotlands, so... That's another thing, but you said you take Undyne here all the time, so maybe you do know what each other looks like? I don't know. Uh, but obviously, tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me! Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say, be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be wherever, whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. Obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun! Okay, which one of those will be Undyne? Uh, I'll be Undyne so you can be yourself. I'll be Undyne. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> um, hi Undyne, how are you doing? You're cute. <laughs> Thanks! You say to me a lot, you say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. But I know, you just mean it platonically because we're just friends. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. Then she kisses you. Why is it capitalized like that? Then she kisses you. What? Undyne would never. Uh, I kiss her back softly. I, I look gently into her eyes. I start hollering. Undyne, I love you. Undyne, kiss me again, Undyne. What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just. Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes! I mean, uh, no! I mean, we were, I mean, uh, actually we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like scientifically important. Really, I just uh, like to use make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, um, those uh, those are just uh, um, anime. Uh, they aren't real. Anime isn't real, except for Haruhi, Haruhi's God. And that time I told you I was, uh, was eating in frozen ice cream, frozen yogurt. It was actually Alphys. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted to, you to think I, I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. Shh. Oh god. Oh no! What? Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy jank. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100%. At maximum power! So, you don't have to lie to me! I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore! Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are! And I know just the training you need to do that! And I'm you! You're gonna train me?! Pfft, what? Me? Oh, here he is! Here's the king! Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Yo! <laughs> get those bones shaking! Yeah! It's time to jog on 100 laps, hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Undyne. I'll do my best! Oh 
my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? Anime is real, anime is not real. I'll humor you. Ah! I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. What the fruit? Where the am I? What? Oh, she took us on a date to the junkyard, and we're back down here, which is unfortunate. Partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. Is that like romance or something like that? Okay. So, at least we got to give Alphys a happy ending. Now I can feel a lot better. They certainly make you feel better. Like, I was expecting it to make you feel like garbage throughout the entire ring. Howdy! If it wasn't- if it is my good friend who trusts me. This is a put this is Papyrus, I don't know why I can't speak right now. You're also a mutual friend! Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no re- no apparent reason. You should also go. There. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. I was gonna go there anyway, just because I wanted to see what was going on there. Uh, this is Undyne's house area. Uh, is her house still on fire? It's still on fire. <laughs> Sounds like only fire lives here now. <laughs> That's stinking hilarious. What was I even saying? Like, um, I was expecting the going the pacifist route would like make you feel like garbage for not killing anyone sort of like in other games i have like walking dead or uh detroit or whatever it makes you feel um bad for not killing because you end up having uh bad people survive and then they end up killing your people anyway because they don't care about your mercy or anything like that which is really unfortunate but this game is very different in which it just shows you that killing is truly unnecessary and it's about love and kindness and hilarity and stuff. Every time, it sort of seems like it's constantly running joke or whatever, but the fact that every single boss fight ends with a date, after, if you're doing the pacifist run, it sort of just shows that like, look at the love that gets to grow because you didn't kill anyone. That's sort of a powerful feeling when you think about that. Uh, save the game again, and what the heck is happening at Alphys' lab? Uh, I swear to God, if they're having, like, hot fish sex on here, then this is gonna be one heck of an episode or something like that, and I can't believe I actually just said that. Uh, no. And the bathroom's finally open! Oh my God. It's a note from Alphys. Read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to be... to free my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, Enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. It's weird that like I've considered her my least favorite character in this game for so long, but she's so incredibly relatable. On like every account, everything she just says, it resonates with me so strongly. But what kind of truth is she talking about? Oh god. Olivia well, losing power! Hooray! And Tethra stability lost. Altitude dropping. Oh. This is bad.